Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. Here once more is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas! It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner! This man is a Greco-Roman wrestler, holding professional record of 30 wins, 12 losses, 2 draws, and 1 no contest. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, USA, presenting the challenger, Nick the Cardi Vance. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. You ready? Are you ready? Well, huge buzz for this fight, and round one is now underway. Classic Styles in some respects between a grappler and a five-tool player type, but certainly the more well-rounded fighter has no problem engaging on the ground. No, he doesn't mind grappling, but he also has the ability to fight on the feet, something the grappler does not really feel comfortable with doing. He seems to be behind the eight ball a little bit, but let's see how he manages getting this fight to the ground. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Nice head kick. Overhead, overhead. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. 
Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Lentz's kick to the body is blocked. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. And just misses with that big right hand. Nice counter shot there. He is all about that left kick to the body. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big body kick lands. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Oh, nice jab. Lee's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Nice. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Big elbow lands around the side of the guard. Nice body kick. Good punch. Oh, head kick blocked though by Lentz. I mean, he's cutting them down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. We need this takedown. Oh, nice. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Nice loop of punch. Just misses with the straight run. Big knee there. Trying to establish that jab once again. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Well, he goes to the uppercut, but it's not there. Oh, and he just keeps on coming with these shots to the liver, looking to buckle him once again. Buckled him earlier in the fight, and the fighter is still open to damage there as he continues to target that sensitive area. Strike punches there. Timing the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Oh, and he caught the kick. He got the turtle in that kick. Good straight hand there by Lee. Just missed with the leg kick. Oh, nice hook by him there. How many times can this young man land this particular punch? Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Nice leg kick. Nice body shot. Now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. Someone on this cut. Calm down. We knew it was going to be a bloody fight. We knew this, okay? I'm under control. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets on. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Head kick. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. 
he's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit, finish him off with the uppercut, that is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Man, he's timed his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Just unable to quite find that range. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, man, head to land. Lentz gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Big head kick! Lee's cut is only getting worse, making a nice donation to the canvas tonight. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut range. No! Oh my gosh! Again, going back to the jab just out of range. There, his leg hurting for certain. Able to check that kick as well. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. A scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Good punch, Lance. Right punch is good, the left also flush. Just misses with the jab. Lee's head kick is blocked. No damage there. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that oh, kick. Nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, found the home for that left hand. Head kick. That was a thudding leg kick. Head kick. Way to hide that leg kick. Lenz gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Oh, he continues to attack that bloody cheek. His face is a mess. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Starting to do some really significant That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job fighting the range to land those punches. Let's focus. Let's focus now. Lee gets tattooed with that hook. Beautifully timed and placed. Seconds remain in the round. Whoa! Oh, he might be out. How about those five minutes? All right, that's the end of the round. He's got a cut on his cheek from that round. There are certainly worse locations for a cut on the cheek. It's not going to trickle down into the eye. Nonetheless, pretty significant gash. We'll see if the cut man can close it up.
All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kick and sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. That's a big strike right there. Slips the punch. Lance's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. You don't know when that leg gets coming. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Don't stop, don't stop. Oh, and there's a kick to the body, not having that one blocked by Lentz. Let's go, get off first for me. And he continues to work the body here. Watch knees to the body. Big punch land. Head kick lands. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Lands with the kick there. No pat on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Lands the right hand. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end. Of they talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's time. He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, he's got his back now. Just over two minutes now to go. Right back to the full mount. Less than two minutes to go in round three. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Lee. So inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Final minute of this championship fight. Lands the grounded pound strike here. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice grounded pound by Lee. 30 seconds now to go on the round.
Back mount now. 20 seconds left. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Lee. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get the full mount and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. The reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound, but very patient ground and pound from such a dominant position. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back for that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. Nice kick. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Let's go. That was a great shot. Just misses there with the left. Punch over the top. Hook to the head there by Lee. Well, that nose isn't going to be able to take too many more as it doubles up on the jab there. So good to watch MMA evolve and watch guys now fight behind the jab. And that left hook landed on the button. Well, he landed a big knockout in the previous round, and you can just tell his confidence is growing. His confidence. Oh, home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. And now he's got him hurt bad. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. A good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're going to continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, man, I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did, because I have times where I've been kicked like that, and I'm going to tell you one thing, it does not feel good. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, tags him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing it so fast, so crisp. Real nice body kick land. It was a good night if that landed. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Significant strike attempt there. Goes to the spinning kick, but he misses. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. A oh, little single collar tie there. Big punch lands through the middle. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Get those combinations going. Move those hands. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh! to check these low leg kicks. Lex gets caught with that punch. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. 
went for the inside leg kick. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. He gets to the spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Back and forth we go! Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Real sneaky body kick. Twenty seconds left. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Final seconds here. And he landed the right hand there. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. And what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body. He throws them low. But when he goes up top, he's very powerful. And he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight. But he cannot take any more of those types of strikes. Last round, guys. You ready? You ready? Now, Fifth fight. and final round. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. That kick blocked by Lentz. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Oh, nice knee to the body. Just what he needed there. Lentz gets hit by that leg kick. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well-placed kick there by Lee. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Strike blocked by Lentz. All right, well, fatigue is certainly a factor here down the stretch. He is losing the fight. He is completely out of gas. I mean, he's been outclassed. He's taken so much damage. He did everything he could to try to survive, but now he's completely out of air, and it's only a matter of time. Oh! He's out! He's done! He's done! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC, and he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands. But ultimately, it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 22 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by knockout and What else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the founding fathers of mixed martial arts. And candidly, thus far, few men have succeeded. This just might have been Bruce Lee's best performance inside the...